Jake Hager and Chico Adams, they finally had a nice quick squash match and then completely fucking tore down the house they built. They have a package of Hager getting tap outs in the cage, in MMA fights, action and wrestling, some of the heinous heel things he's done. And then have him just beat the fuck out of old Chico Adams. Thank you for coming, Chico. And then here comes John Moxley. And he gets face to face with Jake Hager, toes to toes and nose to nose, as they used to say. And he kicks his fucking ass and dumps him out of the ring. What the fuck? <laughs> your big monster, your big shooter, just actually was that. Is that the first match he's had on AEW? First single match, or did he have another one? First singles match, I think, on TV. He wrestled Dustin on the pay-per-view. Okay, here's the guy's first fucking match, and you do the right thing. You have him beat some schlub in a minute, and then here comes the fucking baby face in and is face-to-face -face with him. Didn't even, while he was not looking, blindside him, because, yes... Moxley is the kind of guy that can blindside a fucking heel and it not be a heel move because he's a fucking kick-ass baby face. Or in some way, he just, they looked at each other and then he fucking, they punched each other a couple times. Moxley got the better of it, hit his finish, his DDT. Hager gets up. So then Moxley just says, fuck it, and just fucking does something else and dumps him out of the ring. And they're going on about it. My God, he got up after the DDT and then got dumped out of the fucking ring like a piece of shit and wandered off with nobody to pull him back, pull him away. Just decided, well, I can't beat this fucking guy. So what was that all about? I think the direction's good going with Moxley versus Hager as a program in between whatever Moxley's going to do next. That's fine. And Moxley should have DDT'd him on his head and Hager got up and fucking dumped Moxley out of the fucking ring. I completely agree with you. And that's what I thought watching in real time. Because the commentators did the right thing. He got up from the DDT. They're pointing it out. They're pushing yeah. it. <laughs> and then, you know, Hager's the one who slinks off. Oh, well, no, wait a minute. Hager did, did a move that Moxley then got up from, didn't he? And then Moxley dumped him out of the ring. I'm trying to put this out of my mind. But... Uh, <laughs> The point is, we've we've established who is the dog of the yard in that situation. Hager slunk off because he didn't want any more of Moxley. That's the only fucking way you can look at it. There was nobody to pull him back. There was obviously nobody fucking uh, uh, that could come in between them to stop what he, whatever he would want to do to Moxley. Moxley looked him in the face. They scuffled for a minute. Moxley dropped him on his head. He got back up and didn't sell Moxley's finish. So Moxley ended up dumping him out of the fucking ring and he wandered off. You know, notwithstanding the booking mistake there in that angle, I have to say when I was watching that video and I started watching the squash match and I'm glad they had a squash match. That's a great thing to have on your show yes. to get someone over. It really hit me how much better AEW has used Jake Hager then WWE used him for years, even though they put the world title on him at one point as Jack Swagger. I don't think he said one word in a promo. He looks like a badass. He looks tall. He just stands there. He goes in there. He kills guys. And I'm more into him now than I ever was him as Jack Swagger doing promos. And then when he was with Dutch, yeah. I do got to give AEW credit there. Him with the inner circle, him with Jericho. They've established him as this badass. That, that, another reason why him leaving after the Moxley thing was so stupid, but they really have used him so much better than WWE to the point where he doesn't feel like another one of these reclamation projects. It feels like a fresh guy there. Nice. And plus it's been a while, right? Yeah, it's been a while. So people have had time to get him out. And actually, I don't know that I ever saw Jack Swagger in the WWF. I, I don't know if uh, we ever had a project where I was forced to watch whatever part of the program he was on. But it, even though Dutch was with him, I always like to watch Dutch, but I was, ah, what the fuck? But it, then Moxley does his promo after the break in the back. He was just in the fucking ring. They have a microphone in the ring. He could have said whatever he wanted to say right there, but he was in the back. I didn't understand that either. I don't know. I assume you didn't either. I don't have okay. answers for you on that. Moving on. 